All right, what's going on, Poons? We got a big video today. We got four packages, four big ones in the mail. So these figures there right here, they don't, they don't count, all right? So we'll, move, we'll take them off real quick. This leftover inventory from yesterday at an auction. I usually sell out, and you know, there's always maybe a few figures left over. So those are the eight figures that I left over. Anyways, we got four packages here today, four big ones. Very expensive, very nice, very rare. If you don't know that reference, well, then obviously you have not been on a plug bricks for a while. Look at one of my most hyped videos. I think it has like 100K views. Um, I guess I said very nice, very rare, like 18 times or something, and it triggered people. Well, for the first minute of this, man, how long has it been? It's been 41 seconds, and we still have not opened a package. So let me pause. I need to find my scissors. All right, guys, so we have a total of probably about 500 figures that came in today. So let's go ahead and take a look. This first one is from eBay, I think, and it's from Connecticut. So it took a long journey over there, or from over there to here. And let's see what's inside here. Looks like we're, we're ruining the whole ba entire base way to put stuff on in basically one haul here. So uh, this um, looks like the Republic just got completely shat on. But let me see. Well, what we did get is we got a few speeders. So, you know, pretty cool. We got a couple of those ones from 2011. So we got two clone speeders here. So those ones are nice. I also got a bunch of minifigures. So we have a sand trooper. And then we have some shock troopers as well. So let me pause it and set those up. All right, so this is actually the smallest haul of the day. I'm gonna say this is probably gonna be a really long video. So you got the 2010 Swamp Speeder and a clone speeder bike. I think it's the one from the 2013 gunship. Then we have a total of nine, or no, sorry, seven shock troopers and then one sand trooper. So that's pretty dope. And then two of these speeders right here. So I know you guys love these clone speeders. I do too. So. Got two of them. A few of them are missing parts right there, as you can tell. Like one's missing the harpoon, and then one is missing the little um, roller blade or the um, ski on the side. But that's probably just in that package, I just, or in that little box there. So I'll grab that once this video is over. This one here, I don't know if I really want to do this, but uh, let me just show you guys the. Wow. So that is a whole entire. I mean, this, this video is gonna be really long, so. Yeah, it's just package, I'm on package of figures, and then just a whole entire bunch, like, wow. So, let's go ahead and take a look here. So, I would just get your popcorn, you know, maybe just listen to this video on the side or whatever. This, this is me a long haul. So, starting things off, we got Han Solo, we have some Stormtroopers, we have probably, I think this is the most expensive figure of everything in there is Pre Vizsla. So, awesome to get Pre. We got tons of clone pilots, so... Uh, this haul right here, I would probably say, when you guys see, this is not even the best part, so, not of this package. Like, this package has some good stuff in it. The other, it has a, um, a good amount of prequel. It has everything, really. It has all themes, which is really nice, or all eras, I should say. But this package is not the best. I'd say the next package I'll open will be the second best. I probably went worse from best. Even though this one has the most minifigures, I, Jesus, I mean, it has 200 plus minifigures in here, 212 Trooper. Except this one is not the best one in terms of quality. The last one I'm going to open, we will probably do it on a separate base plate because the quality of that one is just insanity. It's, it's about $800 worth of stuff that I got for about 300 So that one is definitely going to take the cake there. So that one is awesome. But you guys can see it. I mean, this one, you guys probably say, damn, RB, if I got all this stuff in, I would poop my pants. And I agree, if I, if I got this stuff in a couple years ago, I would poop my pants too. So let's go ahead and continue to take a look here. We got Darth Vader, if only that was Chrome Vader, that one made a haul. Now this one cost me all these 200 figures. It cost me less than, let me see here. It cost me about two bucks per figure. So that is definitely very nice. You get for about $2 per figure. So allows me a lot of room to profit there so that is uh that's why i'm doing this so let's see here we also you seem like we mixed up some stuff but it's okay i'm putting i'm not trying to put anything really in the front row the front row is reserved for like total beasts such as pre Vizsla. you can see anakin skywalker so what how many i don't even know how long this video even is but i'm sure it's going to be a long video and then we have here some more troopers you know ewok 
more Ewoks here. So uh, this it almost gets a little while to you know set all these things up, man. It just takes a while. Now here's Obi Wan Kenobi. I think the high ground deserves to be in the front row just because he's just a freaking awesome minifigure. And then we have Obi Wan or not Obi Wan Mace Windu and Endor Leia. More Bomb Squad. I no, this is actually the first two Bomb Squad I've shown. Have two Bomb Squad troopers right here. So those ones are from that clone battle pack that I showed you earlier that I got the speeders from, so that's pretty cool. They got Bomb Squad Troopers as well. More Snow Troopers. Who doesn't like a classic Snow Trooper? I mean, you're going to get used to seeing some Snow Troopers because this next part, I think I have a whole bunch. Maybe not. And then the OG Sand Troopers there with that Paul drawn Plo Koon droid because, well, it's a Plo Koon droid. Then we have a clone. And then what else do we have? Another Stormy. C-3PO. Jeez, man, this, this thing is a long haul. And then we have a clone pilot. I mean, geez, we're probably about 50%. No, we're probably about 20% of the way done right now. So, oh my goodness, I'm not sure how long this one. We're probably like a 20-minute haul. An airborne trooper, but it has the wrong torso there. So, oh well. It, it has the 212th regular torso. And then you have a... I guess a little uh, snowman astral make or whatever. And then you have a clone with the wrong torso again. I mean, that kind of drives me crazy. OCD there. Well, maybe not even that. It's just I know people are like, oh, Republic Bricks, you know, your clone has the wrong torso. So it's worth 26 cents. So yeah, all right, all right, bud. Then we have a clone pilot. Uh, can't have enough of those. I think there's like six of them in this hall. Then we have another Neo Trooper. Those, those Neo Troopers are very nice. The 91st Renaissance Troopers. Then we have Commander, or a Bly Trooper. That's not called kind of Bly. And then we have a Thorn Company Trooper right here. So, cool thing. We have a TIE Defender Pilot or TIE Pilot, whatever. And another one right here. So, these are the OG ones. I like the OG ones. They look pretty sweet. And then we have the newer version, or one of the newer versions came like 2010 or something. I think those ones were absolute garbage. And we have a Gungan, and then we have a Battle Droid. So just a few droids in this one, and another Battle Droid. I'm actually not sure what's in the second to last package. I'm hoping it's this one awesome one, but I'm not entirely sure if it's the super awesome one or not the super awesome one. I know that for sure the last package is the um, granddaddy of them all, but I'm not too sure about the second last package. I can check based on where it's from. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna be the crazy one, sadly. So the crazy one I still have, but it's not the, the second crazy one is not the crazy one. I'm just gonna continue here. I just dumped out the second portion. Here is a big old bag of blasters right there. So that's pretty cool to get. And then you guys can see we're about nowhere close to being done with this. So we got some shadow guards. I'm going to try to you know blast through this real quick here. So we got some shadow guards. So that's kind of cool. I know people like them shadow guards. And then we, I'm, I'm not even going to show them. Like if I don't show you a minifigure, it's because it's one of these rebel troopers. I have too many of these rebel troopers here. Like, I don't even know how many. I'll just kind of toss them. I'll put them on the screen for a second or two. Hey, get out of here. It's my dog in the background being a being a tool. The one that always barks in there's a first order heavy trooper. So I got a whole bunch of the, the first order minifigures. So if you're looking for those, Ricky, what are you doing? Get out of the trash can. Dog over here. I'll show I'll show you guys him real quick here. Lucky. Bad dog. Alright. Here we go. Going back home. He's the one that always barks in the videos and stuff like that. So if you ever see me like, oh, I got to pause the video because the dog's barking. I have three dogs. And he's the only one that barks. We got a whole bunch of royal guards here. Like a whole bunch of them. So it's cool to get shadow guards and royal guards. I mean, damn, I have a lot of shadow guards here as well. So we got the army of them. Palpatine called. He got the whole army, man. Jeez, and we got some First Order Generals. My goodness, this hall is, this is getting out of hand now. Is this General Veers? No, it's not General Veers. I wish it was General Veers. That is definitely a cool figure to have if you have them. Then we have a few more of these First Order and then also Imperial Officers. Now, these ones. Now, this is awesome. I thought I was supposed to get three of them. Oh, here we go. Here are two, at least two of them, and here they are. They are Imperial Shock Stormies. They go in the second row here. Probably should have made this second row more exclusive, but I didn't. 
um, a whole bunch of these. If I don't really show you guys, it's because it's one of these first order minifigures and there's a whole bunch here. So you'll see me line them up back here. And you guys can start to see this haul is getting pretty big. A snow trooper. So a lot of these figures are some of the lower tier, but then there's also a whole bunch of high tier as well. So uh, not a bunch of high tier, but a good amount. But this is definitely army builders allow you guys to build the armies. These will be for sale in my auction and stuff like that. Yeah, by this time the video's coming out, these are probably already sold out. But I probably have more these type of minifigures. Check out my mystery box on you know, my website or my Lego auctions on Instagram. And more of these Rebel Stormies. I mean, jeez, man. These Rebel Stormies are just producing like, like mosquitoes, man. They're, they're just infesting my... My base plate here, so just a bunch of figures here, more and more. I'm not sure if you if you're even watching, man. I mean, props to you. I mean, we're about oh sweet. This is freaking awesome, man. I can't believe he gave me this head, this Star Killer head. Perfect. I already have a Star Killer that just didn't have that head. Hell yeah, that's why you're patient. You don't order it. Perfect, man. Oh, Star Killer. Give me a second here, guys. Oh, sweet. This is freaking awesome. Here he is. The beast himself. Star killer from the Force Unleashed. There we go. Right there in the front row. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to pause the video because we're going to need two base plates. So I'm just going to fill this up here and then we'll come back. All right. My friends, this is everything from the second base plate, and then this is everything from the first base plate. So you can see there's tons of first order stuff and tons of goodies right there. So, wow, that is a lot of minifigures. So let's go ahead and open the third package now. I actually have one more minifigure here to add. Give me a second. There we go. One more figure put on there. All right. Let's open this one. Another package from Connecticut, man. I don't know what's up with okay, all these packages from... Why did I do that? Such a ding dong. Why did I open the package like that? Oh, I could reuse this box. Son of a gun. All right, my bad. So silly for doing that. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in this box here. This guy for late. All right, I have the box now. All right. Oh, well. Let's see. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Alright, so this is not a behemoth. Wow, alright. Wow. Okay, let's uh let's dive let's uh let's go into this one. That's all I can say about this one. This one is not the super crazy dope one, but this one actually is really good. So here we go. This is a another order here. So starting things off, we got a Rebel Trooper. This is just going to take a while. So everything is bagged individually and I have to set it all up on a base plate here so it doesn't take a while. That's one thing that, I mean, I love it. Great packaging, my friend, but you know what? I'm good on that, all right? You can you can put everything into a giant box. It makes me a bit, it makes it a bit easier. I guess I get more, like here's this. I didn't think I showed it. I, I got two Death Troopers if you guys didn't see that. I'm not too sure. Um, makes this, you know, damn near impossible take out we got a older public trooper so wow all i can say is we have a lot a uh, senate commando here and guys we haven't even got to the last package like i'm telling y'all like skip ahead if you don't want to watch this i mean there's some really good figures in this one i mean a lot of good army builders i would say but you know what i'll probably do here again is i'll pause it and i'm going to take out all of these minifigures and then we'll have it on this base plate so give me a second all right guys we got a behemoth of stuff here so we got like special forces commander, and then you guys can see shocks, fly troopers, tons of rebels, arc troopers, all that stuff, man. That whole entire row, death troopers. I mean, it's just awesome. So I mean, look at oh my goodness, so much stuff already in this hole. Almost two gray gray base plates full of it. That means that's close to. Let me see here. That's close to three hundred figures that we'll probably have by the end of this haul, which is absolutely insane to all arrive in one day. And now we're opening the last one, and this one, man, this is the one I've been waiting for for a week. And this one has mini figures that are going to blow your mind straight to the sky. All right, this one is gonna be. Freaking awesome. Alright, oh my goodness, almost didn't get that many figured out. It's all out. 
Here we go, guys. Look at that, man. You guys can already tell it's gonna be crazy with those CAC and all. So let's go ahead and get started with. Let me grab all these bags and throw them away real quick. They're not throwing away. Put them over, um, over here. All right. Let's get started. My goodness, where to start here? So, oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my lord. Okay. So there's just tons of stuff. I don't even know what to do. I'm a bit overwhelmed with the amount of craziness in this one. Oh my gosh. It's so cool to get all these figures. So we'll start off with the baloney bogus ding dong stuff first. So we got a custom clone going on here. It looks like it is printed with the Bly legs and the Doom Squad torso. Not sure what's going on there, but again, it's custom clone. Honestly, almost everything in this haul is absolutely fire. You got Magna Guards and a sand trooper there um but you know that sand trooper is definitely pricey only comes in that landing craft or some bogus so and then the magna guard you know is pretty rare now then we got a uh, cac and yoda so cac on a regular torso and we have a shadow commander and obi-wan kenobi so it looks like that's a custom pauldron or something then we have a rocket droid and what else do we have we have a patrol trooper so cool. So some of the some of the lower end stuff, you're like, RB, what's what's all this hype about this package? And all I can say is hold on. You also had a clone pilot there, Akonda Far and R2D freaking two. So that's pretty dope -a All right, let me smack that down. And we have a Snow and C3PO. Some fire figures, the best ones of this haul. Just kidding. We also have a clone trooper. We start off with the uh, low bag here, so y'all just got to get ready. And then a regular clone. Then we have a droid. Wow. And but we also have a Kashyyyk droid. Now these things are pretty rare, so nice. Get this. And then a CC shock with a regular torso. And then we have AT AT pilot, little chopster. The chopster man so chopper right there what else do we have nuke gun ray the slime ball what else we have inferno squad so welcome to wakanda inferno squad we also have a shadow trooper here as well let's see what else we have we have a tie defender and a kashik trooper and we're going to be needing another base plate in about two seconds we have a match stick here i think or Warthog, one of those ones, very nice figure. Um, I probably got the name wrong, so if I did, go ahead and just nuke me in the comments. Drop, drop a nuke in me in the comments. How dumb I am. Then we also have a Kashyyyk ATRT driver there, that is pretty nice. And then a Chewbacca, Mr. Bib, Bib Fortuna, and then a Hoth trooper and another Kashyyyk trooper. Damn. All right. And then we have a regular clone and a pilot droid. So that is spectacular. And we have some more Senate Commandos. Dude, I love my Senate Commandos. Those things are cool in my opinion. Then we also have a pilot. So that's is all like the poo-poo figures. We probably have a few poo-poo ones left, but let's go ahead and grab those before we start getting into the uh, fire. So this is when you'll start seeing some crazy fire as well as some more uh, okay figures. So you have this one, you have these figures. By poo-poo, I don't mean like poo, I mean, they're just not crazy high value. So we got those, and then we have a new storm and a flame. So a big flame stir right there. The flame daddy. And then, oh, we have one of the CAC helmets and the jetpack there. And then we also have a rebel commando, or sorry, a old republic commando. And then we have a ATST pilot and a Mandalorian and then a 212th trooper here with white arms for some reason. I guess he he was demoted and didn't get the orange ones. Then we have Ahsoka here, the phase two Ahsoka. So this is the one from the Coruscant gunship. And then we have another, so you can start to see Anna Commander right here, phase one. So you can start to see the, uh, the mini figures. Oh boy. And let's have the Swamp Speeder clone. I'm not sure what's going on, why he changed that helmet. Why did he not keep the does he please tell me he has the og helmet if he does not oh gosh some of these figures are sweet uh he doesn't look like he has an og helmet i don't know why he did that the og always it over here nah man the og helmet's cooler in my opinion and we also have more 212 and inferno squad and we're out of room on a second base plate here so i'm gonna have to grab a third one meaning that it's a three base plate haul holy 
Bologna. Is that real? Yes, it is. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look. Well, we can actually use a green one for this. So I have about like 40 base plates down here. Let's go ahead and grab a small green one here. So we'll throw up R2, D2 right there, then a commando droid, and then a clone pilot with some lower tier before we get into the straight fire. A TIE pilot, Mr. Tobias Beckett. Sucks that these did not fit on the last one. This is gonna be like literally the only minifigures that are on this base plate. And then IG-88, and then a battle droid here. So, and then also another R2 unit. Barris Offy. let me see. All right, that is it for the bad figures. Now, here we go. Now let's start getting to the crazy stuff. So let me first show you guys this. Another huge bag of weapons, bringing the bag of weapons now to two big ones. So you guys can see two huge bag of weapons. Oh, and then a whole bunch of CAC blasters and stuff. So very cool, three whole bag of weapons. That is awesome. Now I'm gonna bring up the first base plate again now because as you guys probably saw, I left the whole entire front row open and that was for a reason. Oh, my goodness. Fire inbound, you might have to get a fire extinguisher. We're gonna start things off with, look at that chrome jetpack, jetpack trooper, wow. All right, next up, oh my goodness, even more heat, dude. I'm not sure if I can sell this figure. Holy heck, Commander freaking Keller, dude. Now this is what I call an epic minifigure. Oh my goodness, oh geez, this one, this one, oh my goodness, the fire extinguisher is coming out after this one. The 332nd Commander Rex, or Captain Rex, the newest one. Look at this guy from CAC. That guy is freaking awesome. Now, that is what I call a big boy. And we are nowhere close to being done. Next up is Cloud City Luke right there. Oh, my goodness. Cloud City Luke, are you joking? Next up here is my boy, Darth Malgus, oh my goodness, Darth Malgus, and we're not even a quarter of the way done with the heat right now. Next up is Phase 1, look at this dude, Phase 1, that's like the ARC Trooper there from the 2004 TV show, oh my goodness, next up here, oh boy, Commander freaking Thorn, dude. Stop. No way. Next up, Bakara. Commander Bakara. Are you kidding me right now? We're not even close to being done with the uh, crazy clones, but we're taking a break from that one. And look at that. Fully lights up. Luminara Unduli. Look at this base plate of just bun. Oh my goodness. Look at these beast. Beast after beast on this base plate. Look at that, 144 figures of absolute goodness. Now let's put that down here, and we're gonna bring up base plate number two, because as you guys remember, we did leave some room here. A couple of these figures are gonna be demoted. They simply cannot handle the heat, and this mini figure, three figures actually, this figure does not get the heat, but he is very rare. This is a $15 AT-AT pilot. Uh, many people will underestimate his value or undervalue him because they simply don't know, but that is actually a really expensive figure. If you see that figure, cop it, okay? Especially if you get it for cheap, cop the figure because it's actually worth a lot of money. At least I think it's that version. Maybe the other version, but look it up on BrickLink. Uh, one of the versions is worth like three. The other version is worth like $20 plus or something like that, so. I think I sold that to the same guy for like twenty dollars. So it is. Uh, it's definitely a, an expensive figure. So here we go. Next up, and yeah, I'm just continuing with the fire now. Freaking Commander Fox. All right, guys. So I guess I used up too much of my data, or not my data. Um, too much of my space. My cameras or my phone's like 120 gigabytes. But I guess I had too much. So I had to hold, delete a whole bunch of stuff real quick. So where were we? I'm not sure if we showed Fox, but if we did, awesome. Next up is Commander Freaking Doom, and I I think I was saying I'm not. I looked down. I'm not sure how much of this is not has not been recorded. So that was the whole end of that base play. I think that was all being recorded. So um, here we go. Let's continue on here. I'll probably maybe edit this after I I finish filming and I go to my editing. So then we also have 
a galactic marine meme. They kind of killed the hype a little bit, but guys, we still have so many crazy items. And let's go ahead and take a look here. Next up is, oh my goodness, man. Just these figures are just so good. Commander Cody. Damn. So, and if you guys don't understand why I'm getting so excited about these figures, it's because these figures, a lot of them are, first of all, sold out by CAC, and second of all, they're like 30 plus dollars each, okay? Like, that's a, that's a large amount of money, and especially the, it's like, yeah, if I got one of them, I can understand, like, yeah, you're like, you're exaggerating with probably great. When I have about 30 of them come in, and when you have 300 plus figures come in one day, like, we also have this guy. I think this is Commander Killy Phase 2. It looks like that one is decaled. I'm not a huge fan of decaled figures, but but yeah, getting back to Blitz, dude. This guy is awesome. All right, next up here is Obi-Wan freaking Kenobi here. Brand new light up Obi-Wan from episode number three. And that is just so cool to get him. A brand new episode three. Like, that is so freaking cool. Look at that. Lights up perfectly. And then perfect, man, perfect right here. This is how we'll end it, is Hoggle the Lesser here. And he fits on that last spot. Not, we're not done with the haul just yet, but what I'll show you here is Poggle the Lesser. And here he is. If you don't know who he is, he's a separatist scum, Geonosian, the leader of the Geos. So he'll go right there, man. And look at that base plate. Wow. And then we also have a bunch of helmets here. So these will be used for future products and stuff like that. Future um, items. You can see there's tons of awesome helmets here. So definitely so excited, guys. And then we also have these four troopers as well. I, I mean, this haul is just so freaking cool. So that's it for now, guys. What, a, what an awesome haul. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Other than that, have a good day and peace out.